Tutorials can be pretty much summarized on a spectrum. On one side you have Valve games with their infamous hidden tutorials that make you feel like you're smart, while the game is carefully holding your hand. And on the other hand you have games that don't care, and just have a big wall of text on the screen or a bunch of pop-ups. Since video games are an interactive medium, the way we teach how to play them is also supposed to be interactive. And as of the recent years, awareness of this is being spread everywhere, except Poland it seems. SCP Secret Laboratory is not a simple game. It's not as complex as some of the top-down strategy games, but it does require a lot of knowledge about the mechanics to play for more than half a minute at a time. Dying is a core mechanic of this game, which wouldn't be that bad if you didn't have to wait up to 5 minutes to respawn depending on your luck. A lot of people call this structure frustrating, but I don't think I will be playing a cell without it. Since the cost of getting killed is so high, it creates a fear of dying that I don't see many games reproduce. Now, for such a fast-paced game, you might expect it to have some kind of a tutorial introducing you to the most basic of mechanics, right? Well, it's complicated. SL used to have a tutorial. If you ever wondered why there's a tutorial class in the game, this is your answer. But eventually, the big game announced that the tutorial was getting removed because it was too much work to keep updating as new reworks got released. Or in simple terms, it didn't work. But other multiplayer games have tutorials, so why were Northwood unsuccessful in keeping it in their own game? Their official statement seems fine, but seriously? If we were to look at what would have to be changed in order to import the old tutorials to 13.1, there isn't really that much. Yes, some room models got changed and there were a couple of weapon overhauls, so maybe the shooting range should receive a couple of updates, but the rest is pretty much the same. Okay, so maybe the code in the tutorial required additional maintenance to give up with the updates. Well, maybe, but the tutorial subject is mainly centered around detecting if you open the door or if you shot your gun. There isn't really that much that could break, although keep in mind that Northwood are known for always finding a way to screw things up. So in my opinion, it's a really complicated topic. Trying to summarize this issue in a single sentence is probably impossible, as we need to account for the creator's vision, budget restraints, and probably other internal things that the devs had to solve behind the scenes. Okay, so firstly, the tutorial was just bad. Yeah, it taught you some basic mechanics, but where's the rest of the game? How do you avoid different threats? How do you navigate the facility? What are you even supposed to do? These were all questions that were left unanswered to new players, as they had to look up the official SL guide that was only available in Polish. But the other issue was, this was Northwood's first ever big game. This was Hubert's first ever big game. Unless you count this. Nie ma fu! Nie! Zapomniałeś o spacji! Mamy też diabeła? Diabeł? Zrobiłeś. This game worked, but that's where the positives ended. I still don't really understand how they've managed to keep working on it over these past five years without giving up. And if we were to learn the Minecraft enchanted language of languages, we could even see how SL was coded, but I'm not gonna show that. I don't want to make fun of someone's old work, as it doesn't reflect their current skill level, and nitpicking code in general is just a very disrespectful thing to do, so no, I refuse to show it to you. E, mamy tu jakieś problemy małe. Możemy po prostu coś wyłączyć. To jest na oko, bo tam jakoś to szczególnie nie na to nie zwraca uwagi. Mam też mózg, mam też własny rozum i godność człowieka. A, czemu to niby tak nie działa, skoro tu jest napisane na returny? Nie działa coś lol. No kurde, to nadal nie działa, co tu jest teraz tu tak? Ja naprawdę potrafię podejmować decyzje, za chwilę się powiesza, nie? No czemu to się dzieje, kurde? Later in the Scopophobia update, Northwood also removed the ability to host a non-dedicated server, meaning that you could no longer host the game right from the main menu. Why exactly is that important? Well, that was the only Thing allowing the tutorials to exist in the old versions. In almost all games, tutorials aren't single player, they're just hosted in their own computer so that they can reuse the code from the rest of the game. So I guess fate is sealed. Tutorials are and forever will be no more. That is unless. This was quite a hyped up feature during the Mimicry Updates beta. SCPSL was finally getting its tutorial back after all these years. In order to make it easy to update and maintain, Northwood settled for a much simpler approach that didn't require a complex code, time, nor a non-dedicated server. Seems amazing, right? Well, if you ever looked at any education system of any country, you might realize that teaching people requires a lot of current effort. And right from the start, the operational guide was gonna face some challenges. I mean, what is even an operational guide? What makes this guide operational? Is it even a guide? When a new player boots up a game, they expect to find themselves in the tutorial right away, or alternatively, have a button simply labeled tutorial or how to play. The words operational guide don't mean anything. Is this some weird lore thing or a single player campaign? Some old players still don't know that the operational guide even exists. This is just a mess. What even happened here? You had a tutorial to your game and your active players don't even know about it? But hey, let's not judge the operational guide by its book cover because maybe after we get through the confusion, 
you'll begin to see a light in the tunnel. As I said in the beginning of this video, tutorials need to be engaging if you don't want to risk players just skipping them and hoping they can figure out the mechanics on their own. This is why I think YouTubers will make fantastic game designers. So what did the operation guy do to engage players? Oh, I see. This is atrocious. Like, if I wanted to read a book, I wouldn't be looking at Steam on my Kindle. But you know what? Since I'm spectating anyways, then surely it won't be that big of an issue to just read while I wait to respawn. You know what? Maybe I'm looking at this the wrong way. Maybe this isn't actually a tutorial. Some games have this little thing called a manual that you can read to look up information on different aspects of the game. So if we were to treat the operation guide as a manual, it would start to make a lot more sense. So here's a review of the operation guide as a manual. It's even worse. A manual takes the role of a database containing information about different aspects of the game. Whenever you run into something you don't really understand, you can just open the manual and check. But the operation guide fails at that by not containing any information at all. Let's take 207 for example. According to the operation guide it's... a lot of text. Okay, but to quickly summarize there's some talk about Dika's bouncing off the walls and getting a heart attack after two days. But that's not what 207 does. So allow me to rephrase this entire entry. It's a color that grants you infinite stamina and increases your movement speed at the cost of you slowly losing your health. Now, tell me, which version do you think was better? The fact of the matter is, the operational guide isn't really a guide, but just a bunch of lore. So it not only fails at being a tutorial, but also a manual. And on top of that, it also fails to one of the original tutorials, so Norfoot, what the actual f- Throughout this video I've been talking about SL's terrible tutorial. But that begs the question. Does a cell even need a tutorial in the first place? A cell's player base has been entirely created by YouTubers and the infamous buzzword SCP. Just add a market player and a very original model of the nut to your thumbnail and you got yourself a hit. Chances are that the way you learned about the game wasn't through browsing Steam, but because of a video you saw or are seeing right now. Just by watching you've taught yourself the basics of the game and the rest you can learn while playing. So I guess in the case of this game a tutorial isn't needed. Except that not really, because out of all of my friends I tried introducing to the game, well, it turns out half of them already played it, but they gave out their 10 minutes because they didn't know what to do. I'm sorry, am I going insane? I mean, I shouldn't care about this. You should care about this. There are thousands of players that want to play your game and give you money, and all they need from you is to guide them. But you can't, and you've been refusing for what is essentially free money for years now. But you know what, what do I know? If you were to look at different Steam analytics, you'll see that the game is doing better than ever. So maybe the players that Northwood are targeting don't really need a tutorial. I mean, yes, it's always better to have one, but remember, Northwood aren't making a game. They are fighting a war. A war of player retention, that is. Which is a difficult one, because if you don't update the game frequently enough, the player base might abandon it and move on to the next shiny thing. Although the SL community has proven to be quite patient, everyone has their limits. So maybe focusing on a tutorial isn't the best idea, as it's not gonna affect gameplay in any way, but it might make some people more frustrated. But maybe if there was at least one man dedicated to making the best first user experience, even if it were to take him three years, maybe there could be a change. Maybe the player count would slowly skyrocket or Maybe nothing would happen. That's left for Norfolk to judge, so I guess all I can do today is share my thoughts. I'm sorry, but words aren't enough for me. And since you're refusing to add a dedicated tutorial, maybe we can do something different. Allow me to introduce to you the most powerful teaching tool in any game. Environments. By incorporating visual elements around the facility, we can teach people stuff on the fly. In 914, we can place notes of some scientist that was illegally upgrading his keycard, or just a general description of how the machine works without 20 pages of lore thank you. If the model were to be overhauled, there could also be some kind of display showing what would happen to a currently held item after upgrading. Checkpoints could contain a very simplified map of the facility to just generally explain the zone layout. And STP pedestals could have notes around them, or alternatively, an actual competent description in the inventory. A very long time Time ago the game had a hint system. Let's just re-add it because it's great. And obviously you would be able to toggle it in both of the settings menus. Actually during the making of this video settings got updated and now they're the same in both of the menus, which I would like to claim more credit for. Tips could be shown in different situations, during an alpha warhead, picking up a keycard for the first time, or when you die. You don't even know how fun it is to die and not even know why. And another thing which will make the game a lot more clearer, highlight the interactive objects. Add an outline or alternatively a simple prompt. You're already doing this with 07 
9, so why not do the same for the rest of the classes? As for the operational guide, call it something normal and make it available during a match. My idea here is to completely throw out everything you've made and remake it from scratch. Maybe keep the playable SCP summaries, but the rest has to go. This time, make sure to leave the lore to Rule 34 artists and focus on explaining the gameplay first. Don't just write an essay, make it interactable, divide the text with visuals, just please don't make a wall of text again, we have the wiki for that. And eventually, after some testing, and if everything will go according to plan, maybe, with a bit of luck and alcohol, I'll be able to persuade my friends into playing a cell with me without sounding like a physics teacher. Now, excuse me, as I have to write my own operational guide using the things that we learned today from my very own creation. Just gonna be a minute. Getting started. <clears throat> it all began in 2018 when I researched...